you guys so much. Welcome to my kitchen. It's kind of a mess. My name is Chunute. If you're new to my page, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And today I'm excited because I'm gonna be doing a cooking video with you guys. My neighbor is totally staring at me through the window. What up, Joe? Oh my look, this guy's being super creepy. If you can't do this, you really can't do anything. This is a super easy dessert and uh, it's delicious and it's moist and it's just oh so coconutty and it's just so yummy um, another word for this cake is called basbusa but I make it a little differently I kind of add my twist to it I make it more like modern dun, dun. Dun, 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 dun. this is where all the, all the food babies are made turn the fan on right so let that heat up and then we could start our um, cake mix Get a little, I like to use my Pyrex, and this is something that I cook in. How many leaves? Some wax paper here that I cut out, and I'm just going to fit it into the baking tray. A good way to measure is to lay this on top of your tray, and you want approximately two and a half inches coming out on each corner, so that way when you push it down and you fit it into your baking tray, it fits perfectly. All right, how do you get this stuff off? Hold bright, cleaner, we'll get that. Okay, cool. Don't worry. Get my baking bowl. Bowl. I like how mom says bowl. She goes bowl. What is semolina? Semolina fina. Oh no. Fine. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Shut up. You can find semolina at any grocery store, especially like any ethnic grocery store. <laughs> um, yeah, so it's kind of like flour. So I'm just going to measure. Approximately add two cups of semolina into the bowl. Okay. Next, I'm gonna add some granulated gra <laughs> sugar. <laughs> Next, I'm gonna add some granulated sugar, and this, this is gonna be a quarter of a cup. You should add a half a cup, but I don't like mine too sweet. What's the quarter of Okay, you know. Okay, I'm gonna add half a cup. What's the quarter? Two teaspoons of baking powder. one and a half cup of semi-skimmed milk. I'm going to be taking a half a cup. So this whole stick of butter is 250. I'm going to be cutting this in half because you're going to need approximately half a cup of butter. Uh, I'm going to take a half a cup of unsalted butter. Now, because we were all out of unsalted butter, this is actually just like Omer just picked this up from the market. So it's still refrigerated. I'm just going to pop this in the oven for like 30 seconds. So I have the butter, the cup is really hot, but I'm just gonna cut it up into cubes or smaller pieces just to kind of break it up a little to melt the inside. This is a quick and easy way for you to get cold butter into room temperature. It's slightly liquefied, kind of like what room temperature butter would look like. So I'm just gonna add this in as well. I'm just gonna take my handheld blender and blend everything together. I'm going to take some coconut, um, unsweetened coconut flakes and you're going to need approximately one cup. So I'm going to take that same measuring cup that we used for the butter, who cares, and measure out one cup. Ooh, I love the smell of coconut. You want to fold the coconut into the batter like this. All right, so we're gonna take our baking tray and just flatten out the corners. Make sure it's ready for the batter. So with this, I just literally pour it all into the center and then I even it out in the end, just so I don't make a mess of things. But this could easily, the good thing about this recipe is that it easily can be a vegan cake, a vegan recipe if you were to substitute the butter for um, vegan butter and if you were to substitute the milk for almond milk. You can, I also know a really good vegan brownie recipe that I've been using for about like 10 years now. And it's delicious. All right, so now that we've piled everything in the center, we're just gonna spread it out evenly. Lick. There's no egg in here. 
so you can eat this part. Mmm, so good. What I'm gonna do is make four rows down. Five, six. So six rows going there. And then you can see there's kind of a grid going on. This is gonna work as guidance. So now I'm gonna take some raw almonds and I'm just gonna place them right in the center of each square. I'm just gonna bake this for 30 minutes. We're gonna need a half a cup of water. Add one cup of sh brown sugar. So I like to use brown sugar because it adds like a nice tint to the syrup. And it's obviously more natural. But um, I'm just gonna stir this until the, the water and the sugar turn into a clear syrup. You're gonna add half a tablespoon of lemon juice. Once it's at a boil, I'm just going to add some vanilla extract. Now you can add orange um, blossom extract or uh, almond extract, but I personally like the, the flavor of vanilla. You're gonna set that to cool off and you want it to get to room temperature. Yay! It's a perfectly cooked version of my coconut cake. Oh, I'm so excited it turned out decent. This so cow is kind of almond. I want, I want, I want, I want, okay, I want. I'll, I'll, let me cut it up. Took this out of the oven. You want it to be golden brown on the top, but not like burnt. All right. I'm gonna take my knife and I'm gonna cut where I scored before. That has cooled down to room temperature, and I'm going to pour it onto the cake. Now, the longer you boil the syrup, the more like thick it becomes, and I like the syrup to be really thick and honey-like. So you just want to pour it right on the places where we cut. So it seeps into the cake. Okay guys, and that is the finished recipe. I hope you enjoyed watching this. Don't forget to try this out and comment down below and let me know what you guys think of it. It's super easy to follow. You seriously can't mess this up, guys. <laughs> don't forget to like this video if you'd like to see more recipe videos. And also don't forget to subscribe to my page if you're new. Hit that little bell notification next to the subscribe button. Until next time, bye!